those tactics and bringing them back here. Um, and it's, it's scandalous, and it's kind of shocking that nobody pays attention to that. But just last month, in September, several police departments went on an ADL uh, organized trip to Israel um, before all the, before this escalation began. And since then, um, since that trip they took, I mean, Israeli soldiers and police have shot dead over 30, you know, almost 40 Palestinians. So, I mean, you can imagine um, how concerning it should be uh, that our security forces here are learning from a regime that's engaged in serious violations of human rights and war crimes on a daily basis. Bala Sulam says that if we won't correct the situation, raise it to the level of connection by light, then the connection will come through Nazism. Nazism, it's also connection. They're for connection. But connecting those against these, because there isn't the power in humanity to connect, meaning they feel that they have to be connected, that in the connection between them, there is a kind of a savior and transcension. And it's true, only they can't transcend and save themselves if it's not through hate towards someone else there's no reason to connect otherwise there has to be a reason against whom against what to connect there has to be a clear evident enemy one that you hate that connects us together that's how it works in the ego otherwise the ego it doesn't find the need for it it was the great thomas jefferson who said the God who gave us life gave us liberty. Jefferson asked, can the liberties of a nation be secure when we have removed a conviction that these liberties are the gift of God? Among those freedoms is the right to worship according to our own beliefs. That is why I will get rid of and totally destroy the Johnson Amendment and allow our representatives of faith to speak freely and without fear of retribution. I will do that, remember. And that's something that Nazi Germany would have done and did do. Agenda 21. Agenda 21. Feminist movement has accused the Israeli government of adopting a racist policy towards the country's Ethiopian Jews. Activists believe black women are deliberately being given a controversial contraceptive to bring about a drop in the population, a claim the government denies. I was brought up as an Orthodox Jew and a Zionist. My parents came to Britain as refugees from Poland. Most of their families were subsequently murdered by the Nazis in the Holocaust. My grandmother was ill in bed when the Nazis came to her hometown of Stashov. A German soldier shot her dead in her bed. Madam Deputy Speaker, my grandmother did not die to provide cover for Israeli soldiers murdering Palestinian grandmothers in Gaza. The present Israeli government ruthlessly and cynically exploit the continuing guilt among Gentiles over the slaughter of Jews in the Holocaust as justification for their murder of Pal Palestinians. The implication is that Jewish lives are precious but the lives of Palestinians do not count. On Sky News a few days ago the spokeswoman for the Israeli army Major Leibovitch was asked about the Israeli killing of, at that time, 800 Palestinians. The total is now 1,000. She replied instantly, Five of them were 500 of them were militants. That was the reply of a Nazi. It's time for our government to make clear to the Israeli government that its conduct and policies are unacceptable and to impose a total arms ban on Israel. It is time for peace, but real peace, not the solution by conquest, which is the Israelis' real goal, but which is impossible for them to achieve. They're not simply war criminals, they're fools.